You would be surprised how many calculus problems end up coming down just to an old Algebra 1 idea of writing the equation of a line. So, uh, just as a refresher, and this I can't stress how important this is, uh, trying to find equations of a line given various information. So, let's go right into it. This first one is asking you to find the equation of a line with a slope of 6 and a y-intercept of 0, 2, a y-intercept of 2. All these problems, you're thinking y equals mx plus b. Anytime they say the equation of a line, or we'll talk about tangent lines, or, um, or normal lines, always be thinking y equals mx plus b. Okay? And again, m represents slope, b represents intercept. I know this is way above you, but this is stuff that we all need to make sure we absolutely 100% remember. So, it's y equals mx plus b. But I'm going to plug in things that I know. I know the slope is 6. I know the intercept here is 2. So y equals 6x plus 2 is my answer. Okay, and number 2. They're giving you the slope again, but they're giving you a point this time. They're not giving you the y-intercept. So still begin with thinking y equals mx plus b and plug in what I know. I know the slope is 1 third, but I don't know my intercept this time. So I'm just going to keep it like this. I need to figure out what the intercept is. To do that, well, I have a point that I can work with. So let's plug in those values. Let's plug in 4 for y and 1 for x. And now we need to try to solve for b. So that means 4 equals, this will be 1 third plus b. To get b by itself, I need to subtract 1 third from both sides. That means I'm going to get an answer of 4 minus 1 third would be 3 and 2 thirds. But we don't like mixed numbers. So just to remind ourselves, uh, I would probably get a common denominator here, make this 12 over 3 instead of 4. 12 thirds minus 1 third would be 11 thirds. Uh, definitely get used to using the uh, improper fractions over the mixed numbers. So to get to our final answer, back into y equals mx plus b form, our slope was still 1 third. Our intercept we just found as 11 thirds. That would be there your final answer. All right, number 13, or number 13, wow, number 3. Uh, passing through these two points. Well, we think y equals mx plus b, but we don't even have a slope yet. So let's first find our slope, in this case just by subtracting our x and y values. So we subtract the y's up top, so I'm going to do 7 minus 4 up top. If I did 7 minus 4, I better go the same direction, negative 2 minus 4 on the bottom. So I'll get 3 up top, negative 6 on the bottom, and that simplifies to negative one-half. So I have a negative one-half as my slope here. All right, so now what I do from here is now I'm going right back to this step because I have a slope and I have a point. I actually have two points, so it doesn't matter, but I'm back to now this step right here. So I have y equals mx plus b. I know my slope is negative one-half. I'm going to plug in x and y. It doesn't matter which of these two uh, points you use. I'm going to use this one, 4 comma 4. So 4 equals negative one-half times 4 plus b. So this will give me 4 equals negative 2 plus b. So that means when I add 2 to both sides, I get b will equal 6. So again, my final answer, y equals negative 1 half x plus my b, which is 6. Negative 1 half x plus 6. All right, in number 4, uh, we want to find the slope, or I'm sorry, the equation of a line passing through 8, negative 1, that is parallel to that 2x plus 4y equals 7. Well, first thing we need to know, we need a slope and a point. We have a point. Do we have a slope yet? Well, if we know it's parallel to this guy. That means it has to have the same slope as that guy. So I need to find the slope of this line. Well, let's get it in y equals mx plus b form. So let me subtract 2x from both sides, which gives me 4y will equal negative 2x plus 7. To get y by itself, divide everything by 4. When I divide everything by 4 here, I'll get negative 1 half x plus whatever 7 over 4 is. I really don't care what that is. I'm looking just at this point right here because that is what my slope is, negative 1 half. So that tells me now that I have a slope of negative 1 half and I have this point 8, negative 1. And now I'm just like, again, a problem like number 2. So I'll have y equals negative 1 half x plus b. Plug in my values, negative 1 equals negative 1 half times 8 plus b. 
So negative 1 will equal negative 1 half times 8 gives you negative 4. Add 4 to both sides means B will equal 3. So your final answer, Y equals MX plus B. Your slope is negative 1 half. Your B is 3. So again, this should hopefully have been pretty easy review, but at the same time, it's uh, things that you would be surprised never go away.